This is my mobile urinary operation. I'm at a swim meet all day, and so Shane is at a swim meet all day watching me. And hasn't peed, so I have a break now, and we went out to lunch. There's no bathroom inside that has a place for him to lay down, so we're doing it on the back seat of the van. And Liz is gonna observe. <laughs> She's gonna film it for us. <laughs> Just don't listen to penis. I'm gonna make you a little bed. And all these strips down before I pee. <laughs> Want a pillow? Sure. Aww. Oh, we got neighbors. Oh no. Hard pulled up. Close your eyes. They don't, they didn't totally see you look through me. It's okay. They don't know what we're doing. Now, the key to a successful hard pee is to not break my legs on any of the very close surrounding walls. Ugh, gotta keep Shane close to your body. Ah, we're down. Uh, it's so comfy back here. Now, we don't have my tea jar. Oh, so we're going to cup the palms. That's a joke. Let's find your pee jar. I'm hot. <laughs> okay, we can stop filming now, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna show you how. I actually pee in a different video. True. Oh, I was trying to help with your vlog. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I mean, you didn't do anything interesting, so. What you're about to see is Shane and I attempting to tell you about our shopping list on some random day this past week. We didn't really stay on topic. Um, the video is a little bit out of context, so we're sort of just putting it in unedited. We want you to see what we really act like when we're, we have no plan for what we're filming. So here is us figuring out our shopping list yeah. on any given week. Because we have Ritz, Bagel Bites, French Toast Sticks. Those are all essentials. Salsa. Lay's potato chips. I wrote the brand in case I forgot what kind of potato chips I like. Uh, peanut butter. We're gonna get peanut butter. Nothing that you've read is embarrassing yet. Oh, okay. You also have like read the you put vegetables. Bananas, fruit. oranges, which I don't need. My mom got me oranges. I, bananas. I think onion was the only vegetable on there. Onions. Yep. That's. Oh no. Um, I have a salad bag, like prepared salad. I in put. Bag. I have another list that I made, and I put more healthier. Well, you you were in charge of like dinner food items, so that's my list is like snacks. <laughs> Hannah plans out the junk food that we'll have. No, I plan out the meals that we'll have. Ibuprofen, I'm out. Eggos, sauce for warmies. Now, that's not my item. Shane calls these. Um, Spring rolls, these microwavable spring rolls that he gets his warmies. He's got one right here if you want to hold he's it got up. One right, he's eating one right now. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Shane, you can't. I can't? Oh, on a fork. I was going to hold it right now. Lord. Okay. You hear that? I say, let me do something, and she goes, I you was can't. holding the whole plate up. I know that you couldn't have showed it. That's a piece of it. These are my warmies. Very often in my life, I will forget the name of an item. It might be food, it might be a household product. I forget what they're called, so I just say the first thing that comes to my head, and then that's what it always is. So the spring rolls that I like to buy are now my warmies. Cause I think Can you believe it? He literally was like, do I have my, my warmies? Do I have my warmies? And I was like, what? A blanket? Are you looking for slippers? Like what? No, no. idiot. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Them. All right. Anyway, he needs sauce for them. I'm he doesn't know what kind though. He was like, I was like, what? What do you mean sauce? He was like, I don't know yet. Just write sauce for warmy so that when I go to the store, I can look for one. If someone found our grocery list, it's like lay them out somewhere, they would be like, are these psychopaths? <laughs> these real things. Sauce for warmy. <laughs> yum yum crunchies. <laughs> Delicious yum yums. <laughs> I have to add cookies because I decided I want um, Valentine's Day themed sugar cookies. Okay, put that on your. I like when they make the sugar cookies. 
Put that, put that on your jump shield list. Yeah. How many necklaces do you have on? Two. What about it? They look beautiful. Nice together. Thanks. You look like... Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> what do I look like to you? I can't remember that. Is it Dawn Girl? Are you saying I look like Emily Blunt because that's what people have been saying? No, is, is Emily Blunt in Dawn Girl? Yeah, she's a girl that plays the main character in Dawn Girl. Is Dawn Girl the one where the woman is in, like, the... Oh, I'm thinking the girl on the train. I'm thinking the girl on the train. I don't know who's in Gone Girl. Did we watch that movie together? Wait, is that the one... Isn't it, like, Jennifer Aniston? Nope. Jennifer Aniston's definitely in Dawn Girl. No, she's not, though. Who's it's in it? Amy Dunn? What is on zero? I don't think I'm thinking. Of... No, girl interrupted. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Girl interrupted. <laughs> uh huh. Are you talking about um Angelina Jolie? Angelina Jolie. Baby, you... do you realize that Angelina Jolie in Girl Interrupted is my ideal woman? You look like her right now. I am obsessed with her. Yeah, you look like her. Like if I wasn't with you, I would be with Angelina Jolie from Girl Interrupted. Truly, just that one moment in time. Not that I wouldn't be with Angelina Jolie at any other time, but that moment in time is like, that was like her time to shine in my eyes. Her character in that movie, or no? Her as I mean, actress. her character in that movie is like deranged. As are but you. I'm obsessed with her. Yeah, I know her character. I would be with the character. I'd be with her in real life. I don't really care. I love everything about her. Don't you kind of look like her character right now? Just like, look up, baby. Like disheveled, like yeah, I know. bohemian. It, no, that's not a good. Well, that's just. Find one with her hair up. Does she wore her hair disheveled and down in that movie, and yeah. it's ugly because they cut the bangs on Chris. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, can we this do is me. This is legitimately me. <laughs> is that it? That does all like you. That's me. When I say, <laughs> no, we can't get a third box yeah. of turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Anyway, off we get. We should probably go before it starts snowing. Yeah, it's about to snow. We're about to. We're about to be stranded. Yeah. All right. Bye. We're at the post office. Um, I'm supposed to go in and check our PO box, but there's. It's closed today, but the building is always open. The parking lot is empty except for one car next to us. One and murder are you looking at? Yeah, I'm too scared to go in when I know that there's one random person just in the post office. I keep offering to go in. I know. Maybe I'll just have you come in. I, I don't want to be a know. giant baby, but it's so slushy outside. It's annoying. I don't mind. We'll see. I'm hoping that the person just comes out, but it seems like they're in there for good. They might be so, living in there. They might be. So maybe I'll just, the maybe we'll just go in together. The P.O. Prowler. Yeah. Well, if I get killed, that's what they'll nickname them. All right, let's go meet the P.O. Prowler. I just realized that they're probably just too scared to come out because a creepy van pulled up next to their car. And now I'm talking out loud and the woman's right there. As I was explaining that theory loudly, um, the person came out and got in their car. So that was the most embarrassing experience of my life. Not a murderer. Not a murderer, just a kind woman that I was talking about actively as she walked up behind me. We're going into the P.O. box now. It's the Super Bowl today, and we have to go shopping for a veggie platter. That was our task. Yep. Get a veggie tray, and a baguette, and beer. A baguette? Yeah, we're getting a baguette for the... Oh, I thought my mom was getting that. No, I think we're getting the oh. baguette. I offered you. Oh, a baguette and beer, apparently. Beer? From yeah. where? Lunds. From Lunds. So, that's our task for today. We're going home to my parents' house. My hat's falling off. The little skew. Can you pull it back that's on that side so to even it up? And back on the top a little bit? You wear your hats too far back, I think. My brown brown. Your hair is like an extra ombre. I know. I think that the chlorine bleached it. My hair's been getting lighter and lighter, and I'm pretty Just sure from it's from swimming. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from swimming. 
huh? Because mm. my hair has never been this color. This is like platinum blonde. We got fruit and fruit dip and crackers and vegetables. Now we need a baguette. Now we need a baguette, so we're going in the bread section. Our shopping is done. We got everything we needed to except for the shredded cheese, but my mom is at the store, so she's getting that for us. Don't worry, Shane has his beer. Good beer, see ya. Who's a good girl? Are you so excited? Are you so excited? Hannah, who are you picking tonight? Oh, um... Actually, wait. Who's playing tonight? I know who's playing. The Patriots and the Rams. Nice. I only know that because you told me, because you were like, oh, they're not, like... That's not who you, I want. So who are you picking? The Rams. Okay. Oh. Look at that! Wow, that's nice. And you hang, oh, it hangs. And it's edible. It's, it's not edible. edible. It's you probably all natural, too. Break your teeth. That is gorgeous. It's really neat. Aw. Do you get over 200,000 subscribers, too, I it's wonder? probably gold. No. A million. A million is the next. A million, a million is the next? Yeah. Well, they get off your butts and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, that is really a nice uh, That's gorgeous. Nice. It looks professional. Yeah. Not, you put it right there, actually. <laughs> I think I'll start, I'll have you start cutting up strawberries for me. Okay. And is that where you're going to help from? Yeah. Uh, chop the strawberries. That doesn't look like you're chopping strawberries. <laughs> what is it? Why do you want to get up here? There you go. Well, now your butt's taking up the whole frame. <laughs> Are you practicing? I'm chopping, yeah. Do you want to roll up here? Do you want to come back closer? Or? Are you going to come help? Sure. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. This has me fold this in. Doesn't oh, it look beautiful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fold it. Mm, fold it. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Shane. Fine. Happy birthday. Shane is pushing his head back with all of his might and telling me to use one finger and try to push it up. I'm sure you're the hurt. You say that. Ow, it hurts my, yeah, you're pushing hard. Ha uh ha. -huh. If I use all my fingers, no, I can pop your head up like that. That's not <laughs> one finger, go ahead. If I like pull, <laughs> oh wow, what? I'm actually surprised. What? what, what are you saying? I thought that I could, like if I put my hand behind it, I can sort of fry it up there. <laughs> But like if I just go straight on. You shouldn't even do it the other way. <laughs> Die. My brother is a doctor and he just gave Shane a formula for figuring out what his height would be if he didn't have SMA. Approximate height. Approximate. I did the math, so there's a good chance that I screwed up because I had to like convert inches to centimeters. And even with the internet, I'm sure I messed up somehow. But it was determined that I would probably be about 5'9". Hannah is 5'10". Five ten. Five ten. So in a world without SMA, I would be almost as tall as you. Yeah, it would be it would be nice. Would it be weird? No. Like, would you would you date a shorter guy? I mean, obviously yes. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> no, I would date you if you were five nine, of course. Yeah. Especially if you were you. I need to get like, an idea of what that would 
Here. You stand over there. Bring it straight out. Good. That's where I would be. My <laughs> eyes would be a little lower than your <laughs> eyes. Yeah. So your eyes would be like right there. And every time we kissed, I'd hit your chin. <laughs> 5, 9, and 5, 10 is not a big enough difference that you would feel like our eyes are different levels. And I would have to, I would wear heels a lot. Oh. Well, like, think of Andrew. Yeah. Andrew is Shane's brother, and he's, like, 5'10", 5'11". He's 5'11". But his projected height would also be 5'9". Yeah. So maybe you'd be 5'11". Maybe I'd be 6'1". You could be 6'1". I, I would be tall than you. I would definitely be tall. <laughs> I'd be tall enough to jump over you, that's for sure. <laughs> but, like, my projected height, I think, was, like... Seven feet. Well, though my dad's like six two, my mom's like five eight. We should do your so, projection. Five ten. I I like nailed nailed it kind of. You just smacked yourself. Kind of. I nailed it. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Yeah, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa.